Hey, welcome back. We are still on our first day of standard deviation and we just went through some steps on the middle of page 11 of the statistics packet to get standard to learn what it is and to get it by hand. What does standard deviation tell you? It's the Greek lowercase letter sigma and it gives you the average deviation of the values from the mean. When we solved number three by hand by making a table, we found the sigma squared first, the variance was 2.26, and we just had to square root it to get the standard deviation, to get that average variation. Again, I'll repeat the disclaimer. Variance doesn't tell you anything that standard deviation doesn't also tell you. If both of these are high, values are spread out. If both of these are lower values, you have more consistent data around the mean. I want to look at number four and present you with a few really cool sh calculator shortcuts so that we don't have to go through this long process every single time we want standard deviation. Just like we had shortcuts on the calculator for mean and uh, five number summary. Now, what we're going to do here, the first step is still to find the mean. So we're looking at four and we want to save some time. So do me a favor, grab your calculator, hit stat edit, and type these five values into um, your L1 into your list. Got a little message there. Hey, math class. I'm going to stat edit. Let's move myself out of the way. Where can I go? Here, maybe? Um, stat edit. And I have typed the numbers that we want for this problem into L1. Feel free to pause to make sure you get those all in. Okay, now that we're back, you have five values. I love how if you scroll down the list, I mean, these values weren't tough to count, but I keep saying five, and I'm totally wrong because there are six, and I can tell that. That wasn't even planned. I can tell that by seeing that six on the screen. Okay, the same, um, let's go to the um, stat calc, and we'll go one variable statistics, stat calc one variable statistics. I'm going to do that for L1 with no frequency list. So I'm just going to clear out the frequency list, and I just want the statistics for L1. And I'll hit calculate, and I'll gather that the mean is 69.83 units. I want to write that here, rounded, that the mean is roughly, this is an approximate, 69.83 repeating. Okay. Step two was you took each of those values and you subtracted the mean from them. Well, there's a cool shortcut on your lists. I can go back to stat and then uh, go to edit. And what I'm going to do is, that's a shame because um, I had some numbers in L2, that's all right. But I'm going to call L2, I'll clear L2, enter, and I'm going to go up and highlight the name of the column, and then you're going to set, see how it says L2 equals at the bottom? You're going to say L2 equals second and one, so equals L1 minus what? We'll say minus the mean, 69.83. What that'll do when you hit enter, it's voila, it just subtracts all the values for you. So hit enter, it'll subtract 69.83 from every single one of the values. The sum of this list should be zero, and I can show you guys how to get a sum as well. It's going to be on the screen. Um, the next, you know what, I know that the sum of this is going to be zero, so the next step in finding standard deviation was to square the deviations. So you can go up and highlight the name of the column L3. And I'll do L3 equals second and two, L2, but I want to square it. So it's L2 squared. If you hit enter, it'll square all the deviations, and we want to add these numbers up. There's another cool place to get a sum. So I can hit second and quit. I want to sum L3. So I have to go to second and stat for the list menu. It's a list of useful things, second and stat. I'm going to go over to ops. And I'll go over all the way to math. And it actually will be like a little shortcut for finding things like the min, the max, mean, median, and the sum. I want the sum of L3. So again, that was in stat, second in stat, the list menu, math number five. You're going to hit enter, and we want to sum second and three, L3. So that's already a pretty cool shortcut. We'll say the sum of L3, the sum of the squared deviations, is going to be roughly, what did we say, 390 or 690.83, 690.83. And now I'm almost done those steps. I want to take this and divide it by the number of values in the list. So 690.83, the steps tell me, divided by, and let me get this right, six values in the list. So 690.83 divided by six. This gives you variance. Sigma squared is going to be one over 115. So sigma squared, the variance, is going to be about 115.139. And lastly, sigma, standard deviation. Standard deviation is going to be uh, the square root of that, square root of 115.139.
I'll square root it in my calculator, sorry, so sloppy, and you're gonna get 10.73 units. Just like we analyzed the last answer, this is standard deviation, standard deviation, and on average, the data values in this list for number four vary about 10 units from the mean, which you can tell by the numbers as well. Now I'm wondering if you figured me out. I don't know if you noticed that when I flashed to the calculator, especially the one variable statistics screen, it was like I was hiding something from you and I wanna hide it no more. I'm gonna to go to stat and then go back to one variable statistics because honestly, it was good that we went through that process with the lists, but standard deviation actually was right on my screen. I can't believe I hit it. I'll go to stat calc one variable statistics I want to calculate it for L1, back in the list where the original data was. I'll hit enter, enter, calculate, and I should have paused on this screen for longer. What useful things do you see here? What do we recognize? The mean, 69.83. What's sigma again? The sum of all the values, if you want to know that, is 419. The sum of the values squared is 29951. Check it out, SX and sigma X. So the sample, I'll write this down, the sample, standard deviation is given on the screen and it's going to be what 11.75 the sigma the population sd standard deviation is going to be this value there the 10.73 and it was on my screen waiting for me the whole time so you can feel free to get standard deviation from this screen notice these two values aren't too different from one another they're not really calculated much differently from one another but unless otherwise stated unless i ask you for sample standard deviation you're going to always assume that we're using standard deviation for the entire population so now i think we know just about what everything on this one variable statistics list gives you n is going to be the number of values and then if we need to make a box plot or something like that, we'd have the five number summary at the bottom. Luckily, you don't have to be scribbling down these calculator steps because they're all here <clears throat> on the next page. If you guys turn to 12, we're actually <clears throat> gonna start talking about this question, but then I wanna just pause and leave the rest for another day. Um, if you wanna test yourself out just one more time for the road, see if you can get a standard deviation on your calculator, all the steps are listed. I want you to go back to your list, hit pause on the video, type in the hurricane stripes. You don't need the decade numbers, that's fine, but can you put the hurricane strikes into L1 and keep them there, okay? And we're gonna try to go into one variable statistics and find these things. I'm gonna pause the video with you now, so pause. All right, time in. Um, that gave me enough time to carefully type these numbers, number of US hurricane strikes in each decade into L1, my first list. If I'm wondering, did I get all 15 decades in, I can scroll down to the bottom of the list and check out the number. It tells me that the last number in the list is the 15th value. And now let's see if we can repeat those steps. They're listed here. I'll quit out of it. I'll hit stat, edit. Uh, nope, stat, where was one variable? Whoops, stat and then calc, how about stat, calc, one variable statistics for L1, enter, enter. And then you should be able to write down exactly what you see on the screen here. The mean, standard deviation, all that stuff. So that was all they were asking. The mean is 17.6, you can circle that here. Standard deviation is 3.5. It's good to know about this screen and it's good to know about these two values. Again, look how close sample standard deviation is to population, the sigma x standard deviation. So I've confirmed those answers with the calculator and I've got them circled on my paper. And I'd like to write that sentence of interpretation. On average, your number of hurricane strikes, I'll just put her strikes per decade, that's what the data was, varies, that's a key word because it's a measure of variation, about 3.5 um, hurricane strikes, I'll say strikes from the mean, the X bar, which is about uh, 17.6. So you're about three and a half above and below it on average for those data values. That's where I wanna leave it for now. I have, have fun practicing and we will get more into this the next time. The one thing I would say is, if at all possible, you'll be typing a bunch of things into your list for practice, but if on your calculator list for the next session, if you could keep these number of hurricane strikes in there or just retype them in next time, we'll be using that to get further down the page. So to be continued, enjoy your day. See you guys.